The Samsung Galaxy Gear is real and we've got the official details. Today in Germany, Samsung held its 11th unpacked event, and unlike past press conferences, this one was noticeably lacking in drunk housewives, terribly dated sexist jokes, and Broadway-style dance numbers. But what this Samsung event lacked in borderline disastrous presentation, it more than made up with in product announcements. Let's start with the Galaxy Gear, Samsung's brand new smartwatch. Now, first things first, it's not a phone per se, but an accessory to your Galaxy device that lets it act like a phone via the Bluetooth connection. The Gear has a 1.63 inch, 320 by 320 Super AMOLED touchscreen display, a single core 800 megahertz Exynos processor, a 1.9 megapixel camera capable of capturing 10 seconds of 720p video clips, four gigabytes of onboard storage, and a speaker which will let you make and receive calls from your wrist. When I receive a phone call, all I have to do is raise my hand to my ear, and I'm ready to talk. Plus, the Gear has over 70 apps to choose from, like Path, Evernote, RunKeeper, and Pocket. Unfortunately, it can only store 10 apps at a time. But still, the Gear, like other smartwatches, will be able to send and receive messages, emails, track exercise, and comes in a variety of colorful watch bands. The Galaxy Gear is currently only compatible with the Samsung Note 3, Note 10.1, but via software upgrades in the future, it'll work with the Galaxy S4 and S3, and will be available beginning on September 25th, and will cost $299. Samsung also announced the Galaxy Note 3, which sports a larger 5.7 inch display, adds three gigs of RAM, a 2.3 gigahertz quad core processor, a 13 megapixel camera, and is both lighter and thinner at 8.3 millimeters and 168 grams respectively. Also new is the faux leather back and a now totally symmetrical S Pen, which makes use of the new Air Command feature, which lets you call quick commands like memos and scrapbooking, all by hovering your smart pen near the screen and tapping the built-in buttons. And finally, Samsung revealed the Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition, which boasts an eight core Octa chipset clocking in at 1.9 gigahertz with three gigs of RAM and a 2560 by 1600 high-res display. The front-facing camera is still two megapixels Pixels while the rear is eight, and it'll be available alongside the Galaxy Gear and Note 3 on September 25th in 16, 32, and 64 gig models. So, is the Galaxy Gear the smartwatch you always wanted? Let me know in the comments below, and for more tech feed, please subscribe to the channel. For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying Samsung, please bring back Didi the drunk friend in your next press conference. I always loved it when she was like, I'm drunk, I can hold a glass of wine. I just got a manicure, but I can use your phone just fine. Glug, 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 sadness.